What's up guys? So in this one, uh, we're going to go through how to do an automatic 8-speed uh, GM transmission calibration. I've had a couple of you guys reach out to me about doing the 8-speeds, and so we're going to go in here and find uh, in our Gen 5 stock file repository. We're going to go down here and look at um, 2017 Camaro that's got, got, the, got the A8 in it. Um, so we're just going to open up our file. And I'm just going to kind of show you uh, the, the basis, you know, the basics here on what to do with one of these transmissions. Um, so we're just going to kind of work left to right, starting with the general tab. There's not really much to do here. Um, so we're going to toggle over to manual. We don't need that. Shift general. There's nothing here that we need to really mess with. Um, on your shift scheduling, um, where this is assuming that you have maybe a bone stock car, maybe you've got a quarter intake or... You know, uh, you've swapped uh, intake manifolds and throttle bodies, something like that. Nothing crazy. Um, all of this is going to work just fine. Um, about the most that I'd probably recommend you do is go into your full throttle shift RPM. And if you want, you can bump these up, you know, um, three or 400 RPM. I would probably just uh, maybe say 6,600 just to start there um, and just see, you know, if the how the extra mile an hour uh does with the rpm bump you know just to run the gears out a little bit more you'd want to go through to your pattern a and pattern b and uh, and bump those up as well uh, i'm not really sure why um the six to seven shift has it happening so early but um you could also use the blue cat tool i've explained on uh, some of the, the earlier videos on my channel how to use that but just bumping uh, the whole thing up you know three or four hundred rpm is a good starting uh, point Shift pressures, uh, we're gonna start here in the general section. This max pressure, this is the maximum allowed pressure. We're gonna bump this up to like a 175. Just doing this um, is going to, um, you know, allow for some of uh, the more, uh, some of the more pressure here in these tables to happen in the event that you're falling uh, further into these, uh, these higher torque regions. Although if, if you're on a bone stock setup, you know, um, stock cam and things like that, Probably not going to get too far into there so just by increasing that it's going to allow some more of that pressure um i would not really recommend adding pressure here unless you've added power um if you did you would come in here and you would add 10 percent, and then you would take this table and just copy to all of these and we would do these uh tcc ons as well as these off tables so um, that would be how you go about doing that and just pasting um, this first one that's had the 10% added to it. There again, you're probably going to fall somewhere in here. You know, you're probably not going to get into this upper range. So um, I, I would be cautious about going in and just adding pressure. You know, just doing, just bumping up this max allowed pressure is going to be a good spot for you. Um, this, the upshift and downshift sections. There's no need to do anything there. Um, if we go over here to shift timing in the upshift section, this is pretty standard. Um, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna use like a 0.2. Um, again, at these higher uh, torque ranges and then down low, gonna use probably like a 0.4. Um, this is in seconds. I mean, so 0 0.5 is half of a second. And then we want to just kind of fade this in. And then again, you would take this entire table and you would just copy these um, I would only do the direct up shifts too I would not do the skip shifts um, seven eight um, and then I would also go into the pattern a and the pattern B and do those as well um, no need to do the coast or the negative torque downshift no need to touch anything there torque converter um we want to go first here to our adapt and bump this up to 25 psi this one right here the tcc desired slip this is the big one you know this is the maximum allowed slip uh, that you'll definitely feel this is where the converter shutter comes from so we want to paste in um all of the zero values we don't want any any slip hat being allowed to happen so We'll just go ahead and zero all of these out about like so. Also dis do your uh, disable and you can also paste these in the zeros just to make sure, just to be, be uniform. You've already disabled it uh, through the switch. 
Um, so this would be a good route to take. And this is for anything, whether you've got a bone stock set up or you've got a uh, modified deal, you know, you would want to um, zero all of these out. So that'll take care of that. Under TCC desired pressure, probably bump this up again. 175 is kind of a safe number just to kind of get you going um, to make sure that your line pressure moves the way it's supposed to. Um, I'm a big fan of adjusting these um, apply and releases for the converter. Be cautious though, um, here, notice that your uh, applies are on the bottom. These are your release gears. And so um, I'm a pretty big fan of leaving the converter um, unlocked um, while you're driving around. So you got an eight speed transmission. So ideally first through sixth gear, you really don't need the converter um, locked. You only need it locking in this cruising range on the interstate down here. And you'll notice at wide open throttle, okay, um, it's not going to allow the converter to lock in these upper gears, which is, is a good thing. So um, this is really is personal preference. Um, I would probably come in here right off the bat and I would make these, these first five gears 318, and then I would make the releases 317, uh, and maybe go drive that and just see if down here the converter is not applying where you want it to What you can do is come in here and add four or five miles an hour at a time. Just leave the release speeds where they are That'll be okay um, You know and then full throttle, you know I probably would not want the converter to lock at all in any gear in full throttle um, unless you have a converter that you know the converter, you know manufacturer a lot you know says it's a good idea so I would set it up something like this um, and that would be a good start torque management uh, the speed control terminant needs to be set to immediate that's pretty normal max torque versus gear uh, we just want to get this out of the way so something like that and then this thing's pretty much set up and good to go um, you come over here to your upshift this is where your torque management is Unlike the Gen 3s, really, uh, unlike the Gen 3s, you know, where people would delete all this stuff, you really don't need to. The, the, the shift timing and the pressure can get you your desired shift outcome. So just leave this like it is for right now. Um, if you have any questions about that, you know, you'd have to submit me a data log to look at to really evaluate. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you guys have any more questions or anything about these 8 speeds or even 10 speeds, uh, feel free to reach out and let me know. And uh, Comment, like, and subscribe and be happy to hear from you and check out what you got working on. So yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.